All right, guys, let's get this done. Valhalla Hills character casting, scene one, take one, and action. So, uh, would you please introduce- The first cab off the rank is Valhalla Hills, a city builder made by the veterans behind cultures and 1996 is The Settlers 2. Set in a cartoony Viking world that gives off how to train your dragon vibes, you have to lead your Viking people after Odin and the gods turn their backs on them. Build huts to protect them from the wild, woodcutters to gather wood for fire, and eventually build a civilization from the ground up. We should note that the AI Vikings aren't the smartest of folk, and will need your attentive supervision to stay out of trouble. If that sounds frustrating, then maybe stay away from this one. Otherwise, Valhalla Hills is a very respectable simulation game with a cool theme and interesting options for strategy. Next up is Reveal the Deep, a short and scary exploration of a 19th century shipwreck that sits at the bottom of the ocean. From the very beginning you submerge in the dark, with only minimal vision provided from your helmet's light. All is silent but for your footsteps and the deep croaks of the ship. The walls are vast and the paths are seemingly endless. It seems like you're alone but the suspense of the unknown is always there, eating away at you. In terms of gameplay, there's a few puzzle sections. Also, by turning on and off your light you can find different paths, much like how you can swap between the worlds of the living and the dead in Guacamole. The satisfaction of Reveal the Deep comes from finding all the notes on the ship, piecing them together and uncovering what happened. But before you can do so, there's a wonderfully terrifying and tense journey to make. Hurt World is a brutal PvP and PvE survival game just starting its life on early access. As you'd expect from this kind of game, there's a lot going on, like crafting, building, vehicles, wild animals, towns, farming, weather, biomes, hunger, and the list goes on. But to distinguish Hurt World, let's focus in on some of its key ideas. It has FPS action that's entirely skill based, so regardless if you have top grade gear, you will die if you lose a gunfight. But PvP gunfights are actually rare sights. This is due to the awesome infamy system. When you die, you don't actually drop any valuable items, only raw resources. However, if you've killed someone else and gained infamy, you could drop your possessions, effectively discouraging PvP behaviour and instead promoting more collaborative play. There are 6,000 active players online and the friendly and hardworking devs behind the game give us confidence that Hurt World will turn out right. But it's not there yet and has some hacker issues, so we do warn any prospective buyers to be careful. Mean Greens is Toy Story Warfare, and it's an absolute blast. Playing as a miniature plastic soldier, you turn the kitchen, birthday table, freezer, and seven other unconventional maps into 5v5 multiplayer battles. These creative everyday scenes are not just for aesthetics, as each map also has a unique game mode. On the foosball pitch, the team who scores the most goals with the ball wins, whilst in the fish tank, the objective is to dive and find the most flags. Our only gripe with the game is that it can be hard to find matches on occasion. The Mean Greens is a fast paced third person shooter with an array of creative modes to keep you entertained. Lambia, the duo behind Serious Sam, Super Crate Box, and Luft Rousers, are back again with a new game called Nuclear Throne. Originally titled Wasteland Kings and made in a 3 day game jam, Nuclear Throne is a top down shooter and roguelike in a very similar mold to The Binding of Isaac. It's tough, random, and a lot of fun, but don't just take our word for it. After two years in early access, Nuclear Throne has racked up more than 4,000 Steam user reviews, an amazing 97% of which are positive. If you love Isaac, Rogue Legacy, Spelunky, FTL, Risk of Rain or any other roguelike, you're bound to love Nuclear Throne also. Alright guys, that's it, our last best of the month video for 2015. But not the end of 2015 just yet for us. We've got two more videos. Next week is our best Kickstarter games of the year. Then the big one, our best indie games of the year. So stay tuned for that.
My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on Indie Former.